Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Instant Pot Mini. This is the Lux model. I've already reviewed the Mini Duo model, and if you want to see that review, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll go over the differences between this Lux model and the Duo model in another video. This Lux model is the least expensive Instant Pot you can buy. It's 700 watts, 11 and a half inches long, 10 and a half inches wide, and 10 and a half inches tall. It weighs eight and a half pounds. The cord is about 30 inches long. The inner pot is stainless steel and holds three quarts. There's a two-third line marked in the pot and you should not fill above this line. If you're making foods that expand like rice or beans, don't fill above the half line. Included is a plastic spoon, plastic ladle, measuring cup with markings, condensation collector, steam rack, quick reference guide, user manual, and a recipe booklet with recipes for soups, salads, quinoa, rice, potatoes, meat, and desserts like creme brulee and cheesecake. You can use heat-proof dishes, jars, mugs, and springform pans in this unit. There's a cooking timetable for rice, beans, meat, and vegetables. It is very thorough. The only thing about the recipes, I wish they would have specified if each recipe would work in this mini, since it's much smaller than the next largest Instant Pot at five quarts. I guess because the mini is a newer model, and they probably didn't have time to update the recipe book. Instant Pot does suggest cutting most recipes in half, to use in the mini. I've made chicken curry in the duo model review if you want to have an idea of how much meat you can fit in the mini. I'll also upload some other recipes for the mini, so subscribe to stay tuned for those and you can save time with experimenting. The lid has a float valve that will come up when pressure is reached and come down when pressure is released. The most important thing to know about any pressure cooker is to wait for this float valve to drop down completely and only then open the lid. This is the steam release handle. When you're pressure cooking, turn the handle to ceiling. It's marked here. When you're finished cooking, the handle can be turned to venting. This side or this side. And that's also marked. You're turning the handle to venting to release the pressure. There are two options for venting quick release and natural release. This is the handle to open and close the lid. The inside of the lid has an anti-block shield. You can pull it off for cleaning. Push it down before use. The ceiling ring can also be removed for cleaning. Close and open are marked for the lid. You'll hear the lid lock when you close it. The control panel has an LED display and cooking program keys. There's soup broth, meats too, egg, rice, which is an automated program. You can't use the adjust button or the plus minus buttons. Porridge, with porridge always use only natural release and not quick release because thick liquid could splatter out and block the release valve. Steam, use the included rack and the quick release method so food doesn't overcook slow cook, which does not use pressure cooking. You can buy a separate Instant Pot glass lid if you want to use that with the slow cook program. There's also a saute function where you leave the lid off and brown meat or saute onions before pressure cooking. There's a keep warm function with a max of 10 hours. After any program ends, the unit automatically goes into keep warm mode. There is a delay start that lets you set a time to cook later. Use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the cooking time. The adjust button lets you choose a cooking mode, less, normal, or more. For example, if you're cooking meat, less would be 20 minutes, normal would be 35, and more would be 45. Less would give you a soft texture, normal would be very soft, and more is fall off the bone texture. The pressure cook button is the same as the manual button in some other models. With the pressure cook function, you can adjust the time with the minus and plus keys, but you can't use the adjust button to set a low or high pressure. It only works on high pressure. Some other models have an option of high or low pressure. Press cancel to turn off any program. When you first get the unit, wash the pot, lid, and all accessories with soapy water and dry. They're all top rack dishwasher safe. The condensation collector fits into the back of the unit. Pull it off after use to empty and clean it. The steam release handle just sits on the lid. It is supposed to be loose. We have to do a test run to see if the Instant Pot is working properly. You only have to do this once. Put the pot in the base. Always make sure the bottom of the steel pot is dry before you put it in the unit. Add three cups 
25 ounces or 750 milliliters of water to the pot. Plug in the unit. Close the lid. Make sure the handle is on sealing. Press steam and adjust the time to two minutes. Ten seconds after choosing the program, the unit beeps three times and displays on, which means it's preheating. Preheating can take a few minutes or much longer, depending on how much food you have in the pot. Once pressure is reached, the cooking cycle starts and displays the remaining cooking time. Once the cycle finishes and switches to keep warm mode, then we can turn the unit off. Now the unit has come up to pressure and the display shows two minutes it'll start counting down. It took 12 minutes for the unit to come up to pressure. You can see the float valve has come up completely. The cycle's finished and it's gone into keep warm mode. Now the display will start to count up. We can press cancel and the display will show off. We can release pressure by quick release or natural release. Quick release means I turn the handle to venting right after the cycle is finished. Natural release means I don't touch the handle. I wait for the float valve to drop down by itself. This could take 10 minutes or much longer depending on how much food you have in the cooker. Always use tongs to turn the handle, otherwise you could get a steam burn. I'm going to use the quick release. All the pressure is released, the float valve dropped down, now we can open the lid. The test run is done, it came up to pressure so it works, now we can start using the Instant Pot. To clean, turn the unit off and unplug it, wait for it to cool down. The inner pot, lid and accessories are top rack dishwasher safe or hand wash in warm soapy water. The outside of the unit can be wiped down with a damp cloth and dried. The steam release handle, the float valve and anti-block shield should be clean and clear so the unit can work properly. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'll do a few separate videos on this mini, one using the rice function, another showing you how to cook frozen meat, like frozen chicken breasts or thighs, because some of you have asked how to do that. I may also make some chicken stock because that's also a popular request, and lentils. Pressure cookers are a great way to cook lentils since lentils can take some time and pressure cookers usually save on time. Subscribe and you'll get a notification when I upload those videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.